Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm one of the CAM application specialists here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to define a custom turn insert from just the sketch. Oftentimes, when we're doing a turning part, we're using standard tooling, and there are some features on the part that might not be accessible by the standard tooling. So in that case, we need custom inserts that have certain angles on them that can reach those internal profiles, or a little more likely, we're looking to use custom tooling to eliminate some cycle time, maybe reduce some operations, maybe getting a little closer to the final shape of the part via that custom tooling. So I'm gonna do that in this video with some sketches. First, I need to know the shape of the tool itself. I'll go to my tooling supplier's website and get the dimensions of the tool. Now this first tool here, it's a very simple tool. We could actually define this as a grooving insert. And that's actually what I would suggest. If you have a tool or a tooling insert that's a little closer to the standard shapes, you just need to make some parameter changes. That's the best way to define a, a, a tool. But in the cases of tooling that does not match the standard shapes, such as this one here, we can define it from a sketch and take that right into a definition and then into an operation. So let's take a look at this one in particular. I took the dimensions from this website and I went right into the SOLIDWORKS sketch. The SOLIDWORKS sketch is sitting on the front plane and the origin of the sketch is on the sketch itself. In this case, I put it on this side of the part. You'll note here that in my tool definition, I only sketched the cutting portion of the tool for the purposes of programming. Now that I have a sketch, I can go to my CAMWORKS tab, user-defined tool slash holder, click on that, and it actually gives me a warning that this sketch is not appropriate for the definition. By default, it assumes I want to create a milling tool, a custom milling tool. Creating a custom milling tool was covered in a previous video, but here we're looking to do a turn insert. So once I'm in this window, I can tell it that I'd like to make a turn insert. And you can see that the sketch pops up on screen here. So this will be a CWTT file format, and I'm gonna save it in this particular location here. Note that location because we need to browse to that later when we create the tool. Now that I have a shape file, a shape definition on my hard drive, I can go to my tech DB, go to turn tooling, user defined, user defined inserts. I can copy a pre-existing one and I can create my shape tool. Now I've already done it here, but you can see that I've defined the insert as being one inch thick. Now that is just a placeholder. I really wanted to show it up in the simulation, but you put in the true thickness of the insert in that window. Relief angle, you have sketched the profile of this part. So it, I'm sending it to zero, but in the case of uh, if your insert is not at the sketched angle already, then you can plug in that relief angle in there. Tool material, coolant type, standard definitions for your tooling, comment and description. You can plug those in there so that they pop up in your setup sheets, that they pop up in your tool crib, just a way to identify this particular tool. What's more important for the user-defined insert is the user-defined name and path. This was that CWTT file that we saved previously to my location. All I have to do is click on that CWTT file and it defines the shape of the tool. If I go back to the Turn Tooling tab, I can now add it to a holder. So I'm gonna go into holders, and for the purpose of these tools, for the purpose of this video, I've just made a very basic holder. It's just a three quarter inch by three quarter inch block, just to rep represent the holder that's gonna hold this. I can always come back later and redefine the true holder. The reason I had to do that is because when you are defining turning tools, if I just go back to my turn tooling tab here, you don't actually just use the insert or just the holder. You combine them into an assembly. So let's go to assembly tools. And if I scroll down to the very bottom of my list here, you can see that I've defined the insert that we just defined, that block holder, that placeholder that I've created into one assembly. This is what you select when you create your tool cribs. This is what you select in your operations inside of a CAMWORKS file. So let's go to my turn tab and you'll see that I've created a tool crib using all those predefined tools right from the sketch. Now let's take a look at those tools in operation. So if I go to my operations tree, you can see that I have made some very simple operations here using my shape tools. 
if I go into my simulation here, we can see each one in action. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a facing on this because even though I'm using shape tools, this is still a saw cut piece of bar stock. I want to true up that face. That's the only way to do it in this operation. Next, let's take a look at the tools coming down onto the part. So there is my shape tool and it gets to that near shape there. Next, I'll use the other tool, other side. And again, you can see perfect alignment, perfect shape with that contour. I don't have to take multiple steps here. Depending on your material, depending on what fees and speeds you're plugging in here, workflow is completely on the user. But here, using a shape tool, I'm eliminating a lot of extra steps that standard tooling would be required. If we take a look at the inside of the part, we'll just go through. There's my center, there's my drill. And now if I step through using my final tool here, again, on size shape, and the part is complete. And all those tools were defined simply from just a sketch. So a really quick way to get customized, unique looking shapes of tools defined inside your CamWorks. Any questions on this or anything else, give us a call at the phone number found on our website and stay tuned to the other videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.